Hello, welcome back to another video. Sorry, I haven't been uploading too much. I don't know, Neo's just been not thing, and I've just kind of gotten a bit tired of YouTube, but that should be a good, good enough break. Uh, so today I'll be showing you the Athena. The Athena is under the Game Pass, which you can buy. It's the futuristic. No, you cannot get it for free. You have to pay Robux. So to find it, you go to Ships, Game Pass, Futuristic, and here's the Athena. It has, like, laser sea whiz, which is really cool. And then it has, like, these rail guns here. You can see it's secondaries. So here's the futuristic anti-air, which I don't know why you'd get that over this. They do go a bit faster, and they do have more acceleration. But these ones have uh, overkill uh, for any airplane. 1,200 pounds. I guess this one does too. But And then the futuristic anti-submarine, which just works like a VL ASRock. Which stands for vertical launch. You, you get the point. So it features multi-purpose, multi-purpose, multi-purpose. Then over here, these are more launch tubes. Multi-purpose, multi-purpose. And then here you'll see the anti-missile, which is specifically for missiles. But they can go quite far out. They don't have as much warhead. But they do go fast. So these ones are dedicated missiles for your little, like, laser sea whiz here. And then more launch, vertical launch systems. There we go. It's, I like this ship. It's fairly well modeled. Looks nice, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, let's put it out to sea. Let's go on over to Krav. You can select anything out of here. I'm on Alpha. Here's Krav. You can set it there. Q and E to rotate the box. You have to be moving your mouse or else it won't update. As you see, I'm hitting E, and now you'll see it goes there. Q and A uh, properly match. You can move around in this camera using arrow keys. And you can set it there and deploy, but you can always go back to the selection. So like that. You can hit scuttle to scuttle your ship, W to go up and throttle. This, click on here to set a specific speed, and it will set your throttle to that. So if you can see, 20 is about a little over half, as fast as I can go. So let's see, 40, yeah, that's above. So we'll just put it full ahead. And there we go. Passive sonar is you listening in into the environment. Active sonar is you actively pinging. So like you'll ping out, and then it will reflect off surfaces, and then you can read it off this, like, uh, spectrogram, I think is what it's called in real life. But here you can see him on radar and the little ping. That's what the sonar is in this game. And then if I turn that off, you can still see him because sonar. Anyways, zero for combat mode. You can toggle night vision with tab, see whiz with tab. I have a whole video on that, so watch that later. That one, you can put the anti submarine missiles like this. So even though he's not a submarine, you can click there, fire, and then you can see him fire. And they will go towards where you select the anti, I mean the input coordinates menu, sorry. And there you see he was hit, but those are meant for submarines. They'll, probably, they'll do more damage in there in the water. So there's that. Here's the futuristic multipurpose. Let's see if I can get him with the 100. Remember, you can just deselect these so you don't fire all of them. So the 100s are these guns at the side, these kind of bigger ones. The 40 are like discount flak. I think he's in an H41. Yes. So remember, you can select him using right, yeah. left control and then targeting at the person you want to hit. Or you could do, like I did the drop down menu there. Anyway, so let's fire the main gun at him. Main rail gun. As you can see, it does a fairly decent amount of damage. Not the best, not the best. But it's a decent amount. I missed. And then just, you can kind of spam these quite fast. And you can't do much. M for anti-torpedo, which you'll see in the water when they come up. These aren't actually the best missiles in the game, like, uh, load-wise. So there we go. 
And then... Here's the guns. This is for the guns. So if I set it to, like, say, 1... Now they won't go above that when I set it to auto, so you see. And then you can just not select anything for that. If you want it to just to go back up. See, now they go back up. And then there. And then you can scuttle so you don't have to go through the sinking animation, which is really annoying. And there you go. But make sure you've been outside of a combat situation for long enough. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.